Hey everyone, we are back and today we're going to be doing another inspiration picture. So to do that, we go to feed and we go to inspiration and we're gonna do yesterday's inspiration of the day. And this is actually a picture of my friend, Ali. So we click on the camera icon and then we press draw now and start drawing. We go to classic. Great. Now the first thing we wanna do is we wanna place our phone on top of our cup. Now what I've done is I've just added a little bit of sticky painter's tape to the top of this spray can and I also wrapped it in white paper so that way we're not doing inadvertent product advertising. And place the phone on top and I'm gonna place this on top of my paper. So that way if we move the paper, it stays in place. Next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a pencil, I'm gonna put it on my paper, turn my opacity down all of the way, and I'm gonna to go to tools, camera, and focus lock. I'm gonna zoom in so I can see the tip of my pencil right there. And the focus lock, I'm going to adjust this, and what this is going to do is stop the camera from focusing while I'm drawing. Beautiful. So this looks like it's about in focus. The next thing I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna press the record button and I'm going to start recording. And what this is going to do is create a really cool time lapse of whatever it is that I draw. All right, now we're going to turn our opacity back up and we're going to press move and we're going to move our picture where we want it on the paper. So I'm gonna start out, I want her to be, the top of her head to be right here, and I want her feet to be right about here on the paper. So I'm gonna hit move again so I can zoom out so I can see where I'm drawing. All right, so this, move this up so it's in the picture, and there's the feet. So now I'm going to place Allie's head right there, and then her foot is going to hit that mark, perfect. So she's now exactly where I want her to be. So now I'm going to zoom in. Make sure when you're zooming in that the move button is not pressed. But now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna start doing some rough outlines here. And I'm gonna be drawing very light, just kind of getting the outline So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the opacity almost all the way up and I'm going to do the strobe feature. Press strobe and then strobe on. And this is going to flash back and forth and constantly compare my reference image to what I'm drawing on the paper here. This way I can get more accurate details So one thing that you'll notice is that her sword goes off of the edge of the paper. So how do we fix that? How do we get there? So it's pretty easy. What you do is you just move the phone to where you would like to draw, and then you press the move button, and you align the drawing back to where it was. So that easy. And then if you press the move button again and zoom in, here you can realign your image using the cup. See, it looks like that her face is a little bit more this way. Oh. And that looks pretty well aligned. And now I can go back to where the sword is and finish the rest of my sword drawing. And there you go. Now, now that we have our drawing, 
What I'm going to do is press this red button right here to stop recording. This red button will bring up the recording screen and I can now watch a fun time lapse of the drawing that I just did. If your drawing is rotated sideways or in an orientation that you don't want it to be, you can press these plus and minus buttons and it will rotate your image. And if you want to make it 30 seconds, a minute or two minutes, depending on how long you were drawing for, it will automatically make your drawing or your video of the drawing that length. So I'm going to hit 30 seconds. I'm going to hit export. And now your video was successfully saved to your camera roll. So now I can go to my photos and here it is. So there it is. If you need help with anything, feel free to reach out to us. My email is info at davinciiapp.com and it's gonna be either myself or Teresa and we're gonna respond back to you right away. You can ask us questions about how you can use DaVinci Eye better or if you just wanna ask questions about art in general. So never stop creating and have an awesome day, guys.